Sometimes the best solution to a problem isn't always complex. Similarly, the best answer isn't always a new one. While we humans continue our quest to explore and discover new ways to solve some of the concerning design-related problems, the nature and the animal kingdom on the other hand have a millennia of evolutionary materials to learn from. Biomimetry, as it's called, is a method to creating solutions to human challenges by emulating designs and ideas found in nature. It's used everywhere, buildings, vehicles and even materials. Let's take an interesting example to understand biomimicry in action. Heating, ventilation and air conditioning, also known as HVAC, is a building's biggest energy consumer. It accounts for 35% of all electricity used in commercial buildings. These systems have shortcomings as oftentimes there is no proper control of its usage, especially accounting for the wastage when it may not have been required, resulting in an unprecedented electricity bill. To overcome this problem, some innovators looked at the nature and the inspiration came from the bees that busily work all around their complex beehives to keep things structured and maintain a flow of communication. Applying the same swarm logic to manage the usage of electricity across a commercial building to keep the usage in check resulted in optimized consumption as well as reduced energy bills. That's some epic inspiration. There's more if you are curious, visit this site called asknature.org. They have a wealth of information and resources on the subject. Who knows, the solution you've been looking for is just around you in the nature. And for those of you who would like to explore the subject in depth, you guys are in luck. There is an interesting course that starts on 25th March, provided by the Minneapolis College of Art and Design. The course is Biomimicry, a Sustainable Design Methodology. It's a four-week online course, completely free of cost. So if you guys are interested, I've shared the link in the description below. So you can go and enroll for the course and learn more about Biomimicry. It only requires two to four hours a week, which shouldn't be a problem. Also, I would love to hear your thoughts on what according to you is biomimicry and any particular instance where nature has inspired you to solve a problem. Share your thoughts in the comments below and I'll see you guys the next time. Cheers.